The window to prevent a government shutdown is closing and fast. A shutdown would have a negative impact on North Texas farmers. News 12's Garrett Stringfellow is in our studio tonight and has the details. Garrett? Brendan and Jeff, there is more to a possible government shutdown this year as opposed to any other. That's because this is also the year when the farm bill is approved. And Grayson County rancher Ben Weibel is preparing for the worst. I do expect to shut down. I mean, I hope I'm wrong, <laughs> but uh, I, I doubt that I am. Ben Weibel has been through a few government shutdowns as a Grayson County farmer and rancher. He says that the main problem with a shutdown would be the delay in getting a new farm bill passed. But if this drags on any time at all, the farm bill will be put on the back burner and it will probably be sometime next year before we get activity on the farm bill. Congress must pass a new farm bill every five years, and the current one expires at midnight on Saturday. It's expected to improve working lands conservation programs and will also set crop insurance rates, a key for farmers trying to balance their budget. We need to know what those premiums are going to be because you have a choice of getting 50%, 60% coverage, 65 so that's what we brace our uh, decision on what coverage to take. If a new farm bill is delayed, Grayson County farmers like Weibel could be hung out to dry. That's because a government shutdown would also delay things like drought relief funds. The money has already been appropriated for this disaster program, but if you can't get your uh, paperwork processed, uh, you're going to wait until the government opens back up again. And Weibel says that extra money could help in a lot of different ways. Uh, that's money we could use to help put in our crop this year or buy hay or you know, that type of deal. The budget in the 2018 Farm Bill was $428 billion. It's expected to be about the same amount this year. And Jeff, about 76% of that goes to the SNAP program. Eric, good story and a lot of folks waiting on this, including those folks needing SNAP benefits.